So one other way that we might describe functions is to determine if a function is even, odd, or neither. And you can do this whether your function is given as a graph or a table or an equation, but for now I want to talk about it if we have a graph. But what I've done is instead I've given half a graph and we're going to complete each of these graphs one so that the function that we draw is an even function and the other such that the function is odd. And the easiest way to do this is to know, the f to know that even functions, it's all about symmetry. So even functions are symmetric, that means you can fold, with respect to, now I'm going to stop writing that whole with respect to from now on, WRT. So even functions are symmetric with respect to the y-axis, okay. and odd functions, this is a little bit harder to visualize, y-axis we can spit, <laughs> we can flip it or fold it and see it. Um, odd functions, we say this is the same thing as being symmetric with respect to the origin. I've also heard it called a rotational symmetry. Rotational symmetry. And I'll show both. Again, it's brain wrapping time. So I'm going to go ahead and slide down again. So let's do the graph on the left so that when we're done, we will have an even function, which means the left side and the right side need to match if I fold it on the y-axis. So what I like to do, because I'm a pretty bad drawer, is I'm just going to find some points. So if x is negative 2, y is 3, so that means if x is positive 2, y has to be 3 as well. So I'll get that symmetry, pretend these are straight lines. And then when I'm at negative 5, I'm at negative 3. So when I'm at positive 5, I'm also at negative 3. It looks like I cross between three, negative 3 and negative 4, so I'll try to hit that as I go down as well. Oh, way off. Okay, big circle. There we go. So kind of an M, right? If you used a straight edge, it'd be better. And there we go. Okay, now, odd function over here. Now we're going to complete our graph so that it's odd. There are two different ways you can wrap your brain around it. You can either do it with two separate folds. So in this case, I want to Imagine folding this over the y-axis and then over the x-axis to get my next point. Okay, so try to see what that is. If, that one might be easier when we're all the way done. So the rotational symmetry, something you can think about is taking this graph segment that we have and rotating it 180 degrees to get the other half. Okay, so negative 2 corresponds to positive 3. Well, over on this side, my positive 2 would then correspond to negative 3. And likewise, negative 5 is going to correspond to negative 3, so positive 5 will correspond to positive 3. So if I look at this graph here, and I, let's think about the spin, so put your pencil on the origin, and rotate that graph 180 degrees and you'll see that the sides match up. That makes it odd, also known as origin symmetry. And now to think of the folds. Okay, fold it over the y-axis, right? And now fold it over the x-axis and you'll see that we'll just end up with one shape of graph, everything on top of each other. Okay, so that's how you can determine if a function is odd or even from the graph. If it doesn't match up in either, right, in either situation, you just say it's neither, which most of our functions will be.